Hi there, my name is Laura and welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about scoring hunter rounds. If you'd like to learn more about how the judge scores a hunter round, stick around. Stay to the end because I've got some pictures of some horses and we're going to look at them and see how a judge may score them. Hi there, my name is Laura and welcome to another video. If you'd like to improve your riding and training and really understand what it is that the judge is looking for when you're going into the hunter round so that you can win more ribbons at your next horse show, then remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos coming out. So how does a judge judge the hunter rounds? I think it's a lot harder than what some people say. I've heard a lot of people when you're at your horse show, I don't know if you hear them too, that they say, oh, the judge didn't like my horse. The judge didn't like my horse when it uh, swapped its lead or it pinned its ears or all those types of things. Well, I'm here to tell you, as a horse show judge, we really love watching horses go around and we really like for you to win. The unfortunate thing is, if your horse isn't as nice a jumper as that horse, then we have to place the better jumper over your horse. It's not that we don't like it. We like your horse. We want it to win. But the other horse may be a better jumper than yours. So how do you get your points and how do you how do you win that hunter class anyway? The number one thing that you have to do when you get into the hunter ring is you have to get to all of your jumps. That means no refusing. As soon as you refuse your jump, your score goes from whatever it was down to a 30. Guaranteed. You have to get to all your jumps and this means no refusing, no chipping, no adding in or God forbid no leaving out strides, no rushing, keep an even pace, and you have to get to the right spot, the sweet spot for every jump. So there's eight jumps usually in a hunter round. You have to get to each of those jumps correctly eight times. Plus get your leads, plus get the correct distances, and have good turnout and all those other nice things that you have when you're in a hunter round. Here's a summary of scores for if you. If you're absolutely phenomenal and your horse is perfect, gets his knees up, gets all its leads, get all its distances, beautiful turnout, and is superb form over fences, then that would be 95 to It's got good form, gets all its spots, beautiful turnout. So between 80 and 89, those are really good trips as well. These are really good horses with really good form, with maybe a minor mistake, maybe gets a little close at one jump, rushes a little bit. These are like minor, minor mistakes. 70 to 79, so like in the 70s, that's a good, that's a good round, really good round. So that's a regular horse jumping. It's great, good round. Maybe it has a minor mistake here or there, but these are minor mistakes. These aren't getting a chip in or adding or getting a wrong lead. These are maybe its legs aren't quite level over one jump or it gets a little close at one jump, or a little far away from one jump, or a uh, getting its lead one or two strides into the corner rather than, th these are minor, minor mistakes. In the 60s, these, are reser the, these marks are reserved for those horses that maybe don't have really good form over fences. They're average horses, average movers with minor mistakes. So the difference between a 65 and a 75, 65 would be an average horse with an average jump making a minor mistake, whereas a 75 would be a good horse with good form making an average mistake. An 80 would be an excellent horse with excellent form with a minor something and then 95 is a superior nothing if you get a 50 to me a 50 is got a major mistake somewhere maybe it's knocked a rail down which is usually might you take about minus four points off your score 
for uh, getting too close, getting too far away, noticeably hangs a leg, bad jumping, poor form. So for me, and I've got these written down here, I'm in the 50s is has a major fault, one major fault. So for example, it might be adding a stride and an in and out, has a very bad fence, you know, the kind where you go, <gasps> where you take your deep breath and you, ah, the hanging a leg over a fence or something like that, trotting in the corners to get a lead, cross cantering or disunited canter somewhere, uh, a wrong lead, adding a stride in the, in the line. Those are major mistakes. For me, that would be immediate 50. 40 is another major fault. Is a good, solid knockdown with the front leg, not a back leg. A good, solid knock with the front, front leg in bad form over fences. 30s, to me, that's a refusal or a refusal on a knockdown, something terrible has happened. And if you get uh, in the 20s, that's a very dangerous horse and we don't want to see you back again. Then that's the way just some judges judge. So they have uh, a picture in their mind what an 80 looks like, an 85, a 90, and what a 60 looks like. And the horses come in between there. So let's take a look at some pictures to see what it is that uh, a judge may look at at a horse show. And these are pictures that I have taken or uh, there's a couple of pictures that some people have sent in to me with, of their own horses. So let's just take a look. So here's a nice chestnut horse and it's a little, it's a cross country fence I know and so this is not really in a hunter situation but a cross country fence but I wanted to show you that this is an in an instant in time as the horse goes over the jump and you are doing eight jumps so the judge has eight times to see your horse jump that's it and if your horse doesn't jump eight times nicely you're gonna get a bad score if you chip in run out or add a stride take out a stride that's gonna reduce your score so this fence is so this has captured our, uh, a, the horse over top of the jump and you can see that we can stop in time and take a look at it and discuss it. So I'm not sure if a judge would notice this or not, but the thing that strikes out strikes me at this horse is that it's using itself nicely. It's got a round over top of its back. Love the way it's reaching down and forward with its head, using itself through its head and neck. Its knees are up. They're not quite level, but I'm not sure that a judge if we watching from the side would be able to see that and you can see that uh, right now the knees are up because the forearm is parallel to the ground and it looks like it's starting to open up its legs because its uh, cannon bones are almost perpendicular to the ground and for me that would be something that I would take note I like love the way that its forearms are up and horizontal but its cannon bones are starting to be on the vertical and that would be a cause for me to say, you know, hangs his legs a little bit. It may be just the way the, when this picture was captured, he's just starting to come down off his arc and reaching out for the ground, so he's not starting to unfold his legs. I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but that's just what I would do. So for that particular horse, what would you give that horse for a score? I'd give that score with that horse probably a, Here's another little horse. This is from a picture uh, from somebody was doing a position review and I wanted to use this picture. I'm not sure if you can see the horse's knees in this one. Knees are up, legs are parallel to the ground. Look how beautifully his knees are up. Really like that. That is the first thing that a judge notices. The thing that would detract me about this horse is that its ears, the horse's ears, I was going to say the rider's ears, the rider's ears are okay. The horse's ears, they're kind of back like he's really kind of soured on jumping, so I don't like the look of that. I'd have to take, that just kind of ruins the general overall appearance of the horse. But the big thing with this horse, if you look at its hind quarters, its hind legs, in particular its hind legs, it's like it's stepping off and it's hind legs are not together. His left hind leg is further out in front than its 
uh, right hind leg, and I would take off marks for that. For this particular horse, really like the way he's got his knees up, but I don't like its ears or its head. It looks sour, and I think it would probably show that throughout the whole course, right? And the fact that it's split its hind legs when it's taking off, so I'd take off some marks for that. But because it's so good with its front end, I'd probably give it a 75. What would you give it? Do you have a picture of your horse you want to send in? I'd love to see it. Send me an email, thistleridge at hotmail.com. I hope that gives you some idea of what it is the judge is looking for. And you know what? The judge does, does like your horse. I don't ever want to hear people say that the judge doesn't like my horse because that's just not true. The judge does like your horse and the judge really wants to see the best of your horse. So, have any questions? Send me an email. Thanks now. Bye.